What's up, my peeps? Back again with another Supercard video. And as you can see, we've got Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn in the newest PCC. Now, I'm here's the thing: like Kevin Owens is a down yellow triangle, but Sami Zayn has a better picture. I want Kevin Owens because he's a down yellow triangle, and I don't have a down yellow triangle event card. He'd go great with Roman Reigns and Andre the Giant and Ric Flair in my deck. And then pretty much everybody's deck that has those cards. And Sami Zayn, I, I think he just has the better picture. I feel his card looks better, or at least, you know, the, the design surrounding it is the same. But I feel the picture that they chose for Sami Zayn, I like this one more than the picture they chose for Kevin Owens right here. Who just looks like, I don't know, like, like, he's, like he's an upset kid, you know? Like his parents were like, you know what, we're taking away your PS4 because you did this or that, and this is like the face that kid would, you know, would do afterwards. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go with Kevin Owens, but I think Sami Zayn's gonna win, and here's why. So first off, on the Kevin Owens side, you've got The Miz here, and then on Sami Zayn's side, you've got Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler is a better card than the uh, the Miz card. The, the overall, at least, is better. So that's... One plus for Sami Zayn right there. The WrestleMania undercard on Sami Zayn's side is slightly better than the one on Kevin Owens' side. All right, now moving on to well, the support cards don't matter. They're both you know good support cards. I'd love to get any one of these. Uh, but moving on to the Survivor cards. So this is really what made me go. All right, Sami Zayn's gonna win this. Because on Roman Reigns, not Roman Reigns, on Kevin Owens' side, you've got Roman Reigns. Which isn't a bad Survivor card. Uh, but on Sami Zayn's side, you've got Dean Ambrose. And the last PCC, Dean Ambrose was the Survivor card. And in that last PCC, that ranking where you got Survivor Pro Dean Ambrose was so freaking tight. That so many, so many people, like it was just one point or something like that or two points that separated everybody in that rank range where you would get Survivor Pro Dean Ambrose. So like if you won maybe a three plus match, you would go from, you know, you would move up in ranks by like 500 or something like that, or maybe even more. And so because of that, um, a lot of people ended up getting only a single Dean Ambrose rather than a pro Dean Ambrose. And because of that, I think a lot of those people that didn't end up getting that pro Dean Ambrose, because that ranking was so damn tight, everybody wanted pro Survivor or Dean Ambrose, that I think a lot of those people that got single Ambrose will be going for the Sami Zayn card right here. Not for Sami Zayn, or maybe they will go for Sami Zayn, but I think most of them will go for Dean Ambrose. Now, when it comes to these events, um, you know, you'd like to think that it's the event cards that matter, or the event cards that are going to choose who wins this, but like most of the time, if not every single time, the undercards really determine who's going to win this. Because most of the people in this game aren't in, you know, the highest rank. They aren't in WrestleMania Plus Plus or WrestleMania Plus or even WrestleMania. Most of them are under that rank. And so most of them aren't really concerned with this. And they're more so concerned with, hey, I've got Dean Ambrose. This is easier, so I'll go for Dean Ambrose. Or maybe not this rank, but, you know, this one right here. Hold on just a second. This right here, where you get a single Dean Ambrose for ranking in this range. And here too, you get Dean Ambrose too, you get Dean Ambrose here too. So getting a Survivor card here is going to be pretty damn easy. Getting a Legendary card, even easier. Now, here's another thing. Okay, on Kevin Owens' side, you've got Sheamus. On the Sami Zayn side, you've got John Cena. I feel a lot more people have Sheamus, but at the same time... So many people have Sheamus. They've given Sheamus away so many freaking times as a daily login bonus. As, uh, what, what was it? Uh, there was another event where we had Sheamus. I think it was the last PCC or the one before that. But basically, Sheamus has been given away so many times in this game. It's like they don't want him. Uh, but he's been given away so many times that I think most of the people that do have Sheamus, they have a pro Sheamus. So they don't have a need for another Sheamus. I could be wrong, though. There could be some people that got Sheamus out of an event, and they still haven't pro them. But I think most of them have not pro As far as John Cena goes, they've given away John Cena before as an event card, I believe, in the Roads to Glory. So some people also have John Cena, but they haven't given away John Cena like they did with Sheamus. 
they gave him away i think only in one event and that was it so i feel many more people would have a single john cena than people having a single sheamus and for the people that have a single of both well john cena is obviously the better card he's better i think in every single stat uh hold on just a second beats him in power beats him in toughness yeah he beats him in every single stat so john cena is the better card uh in everything and as far as the epic cards, I don't really think the epic cards, though, really determine it. I don't know. You've got Bray Wyatt here and Seth Rollins. I'm not sure which one is better. I'm assuming Bray's better in power and toughness. Uh, actually, no. Okay, he's better in power and charisma and, yeah, Seth... Wait, wait a minute. Okay, so they're... Whatever, I don't know. It seems like Seth Rollins is the better card. Okay, so, yeah. I'm calling it right now. Sami Zayn's gonna win this. And on top of the other cards... Sami Zayn does not have a WrestleMania card, while Kevin Owens does. So people can get a WrestleMania Kevin Owens, but if they don't get Sami Zayn here, if Sami Zayn does not win, then that's it. Unless there's another event with Sami Zayn, we're not going to get a WrestleMania Sami Zayn. So because of Sami Zayn not being a WrestleMania card, because of Dolph Ziggler being on the Sami Zayn side, and being better than the Miz card, and also because of Dean Ambrose, this is the, the most important part in my opinion, because of Dean Ambrose being giving away, uh, given away on the Sami Zayn side, I really feel like Sami Zayn is going to win this. So we're going to see if I'm right or not. Uh, but... Which one are you guys going to go for? Are you guys going to go for the Kevin Owens side or the Sami Zayn side? I always ask you guys this because I always like to give, or not give, but like, see what most people are going for prior to the event. Last time I asked you guys, and most of you were going for Roman, and Roman ended up winning uh, that Triple H versus Roman PCC. So I like to get an idea where most people are heading, where most people are going to go for. So let me know, is it going to be KO or is it going to be Sami Zayn? And why are you going to go for KO and why are you going to go for Sami Zayn? So that's pretty much shit. Uh, yo, sound like I sound like I said that's pretty much shit. I said that's pretty much it. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, as far as what I'll go for, like I said, I'm going to go for Kevin Owens and I'm going for Kevin Owens to go for Kevin Owens. I want the Kevin Owens card. Well, actually, I prefer the look of the Sami Zayn card, like I said, but yeah, I'm going to go for Owens, hoping Kevin Owens wins because he'd go great in my deck because then I'd actually have a boost in my tag team. Look at my deck at the moment. Let's just go take a look here real quick. Look at this. I don't have a proper tag team setup. It's, it's bad. Uh, the thing is, I kind of regret not, well... I couldn't do anything about it because at that time when Kalisto was the event card for Ring Domination, um, I wasn't in the Survivor tier, so I couldn't get Kalisto. But if I would have, if I could have gotten Kalisto, then I probably would have started getting the event cards at Kalisto. Then I would have had a left blue triangle to tag up with uh, Daniel Bryan or John Cena. Right now, uh, I really need a down yellow triangle, uh, Survivor Pro or WrestleMania Pro. That'd be even better. That's why I'm hoping KO wins. And uh, the only really tag team that I've got here is these two right here. And I'm training Cesaro currently. I, I trained the other one that I got uh, or that I had before. I don't know which one it was, but I trained the other one. And now I'm training this one. And then I'll go ahead and pro him. And that's about it for this portion of the video. Actually, you know what? Uh, Ring Domination. We got AJ Styles, I think, a little over an hour after the, after the event started. So we got it pretty quick. And then we went ahead and got Cesaro too. As far as the team points breakdown for Team Deagle this time, uh, in a surprising move, Rain got the first spot in a non-PCC event. He got 46 shards, and then number two, we've got I3 with 33 shards, and then myself with 27 shards. And then we got a special appearance by It's Death with 23 shards. Uh, for those of you wondering why it's a special appearance, basically... Uh, I had a spot left, and he really wanted the WrestleMania card. He's been supporting the channel for a long time. He's He's been a long supporter. And so I was like, you know what? Uh, get on the team, and I'll get you, or we're going to get the uh, WrestleMania AJ Styles card. Because ring domination is easy anyways. Uh, but just so you guys, just in case anybody starts asking me, hey, can I get on the team because of that, and you're like legendary or whatever, this was just pretty much a one-time thing, because RD is a really easy event. He asked me first, and like I said, he's a big supporter, so I went ahead and did that. Anyways, and then we've got yes, uh, yes, Sarah with 18 shards, and that's it for the top five in Team Deagle. Anyways, I was gonna show you guys the top three Team Deagles for Team Ring Domination in this one. 
but I'm still waiting on the team points breakdown from a certain team. Without that, I can't go ahead and do this. And also, I might have an interview that has to do with team rank domination and all the team deagles. Somebody from the top three team deagles has something to say to one of the team deagles. So stay tuned for that. That might happen in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, sit him out. See ya.